Assalamu alaikum, I'm Judah Abdul Haq Jindi, and this is my CVI project presentation. Our project is the face mask ATM and reminder machine. My first part was inserting photos of our desired look for the project. I then inserted photos of the wiring, and as you can see here, we have connected a potentiometer to an LCD, as well as a buzzer, a motion sensor, and a 4x4 keypad. This is the overall look of our wiring. Uh, in this code, we have, uh, sorry, of our, of our code, not our wiring. In this code, we have uh, included a liquid crystal uh, library as well as a keypad library. And we have written multiple demands that ask the uh, LCD to write out the number of masks that are left, as well as to tell us uh, when we are out of masks. Um, we have also demanded um, a buzzer to uh, vibrate whenever we, uh, whenever the uh, motion sensor detects that there is someone who is not wearing a mask. And the buzzer. So uh, a potentiometer is a variable resistor and it functions to alter the resistance by using a knob or a dial. And the potentiometer is basically used to adjust the value of something, such as the volume or the brightness of a light or the zoom level of an oscilloscope. So a potentiometer has three terminals and uh, the middle terminal connects to a sliding contact, also known as the wiper, uh, which is a moving, um, it is a moving over the resistive element. Uh, the position of the wiper basically determines the output voltage of the potentiometer. So first to start the potentiometer, you connect the VCC and the GND to the reference terminals of the potentiometer to power your voltage divider, which is the wiper. And in this project, we used the rotatory uh, potentiometer and connected it to the LCD to be able to display the change in the number of masks on the LCD screen. My second gadget is the buzzer, and the buzzer is an audible signal device uh, which may be mechanical, electromechanical, or a piezoelectrical. And uh, typical uses of this buzzer um, and beepers include alarm devices or timers or confirmation of user inputs such as a mouse click. So basically, the buzzer consists of an uh, outside case as well as two pins that attach to the power and to the ground inside this piezo element. Uh, consists a central ceramic disc that is surrounded by a metal vibrating disc and when a current is applied uh, to the buzzer it, it causes the ceramic disc to, exp uh, to contract or expand which then causes the surrounding uh, metal disc to vibrate which causes the sound. So in this project we used this Arduino buzzer to alert us whenever the motion sensor detects that someone is not wearing a mask and to be able to start this buzzer uh, we have connected one leg to the negative column, or the GND, and the other to the microcontroller. This is the end of my part, and thank you for listening.